Well, happy Friday to you. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Friday, September the 15th, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning, we look at the subject of God and rain. God and rain from Matthew 5, 43 and following, which brings us to the subject of the Sermon on the Mount, which is where this occurs. I will be starting a new series of messages Sunday morning on the Sermon on the Mount. There's no cutesy way to package that. There's nothing you can do for it with a title. It is the greatest sermon ever preached. It is the greatest document uh, ever written down and the greatest thing ever spoken. It is the Magna Carta, if you will, of the kingdom of God. It is the kingdom manifesto. And if you want to understand Christianity, to, to work your way through the Sermon on the Mount is the way to do it. So join me Sunday at 10 a.m. at our home in the Hollow Dome on Walden Road and be careful uh, making your way there Sunday morning because Washington Boulevard at I-10, I-10 will be closed. They will be diverting uh, to the frontage road. So we would like to ask you to go down Major Drive and circumvent all of the I-10 tumult that will be going on. So back to God and rain, Matthew 5, 43 and following. Did someone sin to cause us to be 17 inches or so behind our annual average rainfall? In Southeast Texas? Did someone's sin cause that to happen? Did someone do something conspicuously righteous two days ago to cause God to send the rain? Well, in scriptural times, God withheld rain for three years under Elijah to humble Ahab, an arrogant and sinful Israelite king. God sent rain at Elijah's word to show sovereignty over idols and fertility cults. God is still using rain to send a message. Here's the message. You can't live without it. He sends it even when you don't deserve it. Listen to what Jesus said in Matthew 5, 43 and following. You have heard it has been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you in order that you may be the children of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and the unjust. I'm so grateful that God loves and loved us when we were still sinners. To the repentant, his physical rain is a grace gift. To the unconverted, it is a natural revelation of his love and providence. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, when farmers have a crop that fails, they can get crop insurance, but crop insurance still won't feed you. Even genetically altered corn won't grow without rain. And no meteorologist nor politician can manufacture rain. He's giving us all what we need, whether we deserve it or not, and we don't. Let me pray for you. Father, we come to you this morning so grateful for the rain, so grateful for your mercies that are fresh and new each morning. God, help us to recognize that you love us even when we were in sin. Lord, we pray that we would follow in your footsteps, be children of our Father in heaven by loving those that hate us and praying for those that despitefully use us. Father, help us to be peacemakers that we may be called the sons of God. And Lord, we pray that the words of our hearts, words of our mouths, and the meditations of our hearts would be acceptable in your sight, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Lord, let this day be consecrated to you for your glory, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, and may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. God bless you.